Hunt Showdown is a great game. It's some of the most unforgiving and highly tactical gameplay out there. This is in part what makes this game so great. The high stakes and high losses if you lose, as well as the great rewards if you win. I'd really like to focus on the fact that this is great. Both the bounty hunt and quick play modes are amazing in large part because of how high the stakes are in these modes. However, I would like to put a proposal of a less risky game mode. One that's chiefly designed for those who want more casual gameplay that can also be used to help learn the gunplay of this game for newer players. So, let's get right into this idea. Before everyone gets up in arms and sprints into their comment section screaming that I have no idea what I am talking about, please hear me out first. I don't think we should make any of the existing modes any easier or any more accessible. Doing so would ruin the entire soul of this game. So with that, I'd like to clarify what I think a mode separate from those modes, a mode that could achieve a more higher accessibility and an easier gameplay flow should look like. I think the addition of a high activity small map mode would be interesting. This could be done by sectioning off one POI, then give those players in that random POI random weapons upon spawning. These weapons could be similar to the base weapons that one gets at the start of quick play matches. Then, much like quick play, there'd be better weapons sitting around the POI to be looted. Throw in respawns and you've got a high activity, small area mode that'd be good to teach new players how to play, as well as give those of us who are more casual a solid mode to play when you're just relaxing. Now, let's address how this would help new players. By creating a mode that doesn't require players to risk anything, new players would be able to play in large amounts to learn the new weapons and guns. This learning would help them get the basics of PvP done so they can go into quick play or bounty hunt so they can learn the rest of the skills and get true enjoyment out of the game. And I don't think I have to explain why this would help the more casual players, as they would have a mode they can play while relaxing that doesn't require as much focus. Think about it like this. You've come home from a long day of work, you play three rounds of bounty hunt, and then decompress with the rest of the night with some of the shootout mode. Or maybe you could use this mode as a warm-up round to help get the dust off before going into the higher stage rounds. Alright, so with the basics out and the positives out of the way, let's turn to the possible negatives. First would be the possibly longer queue time, since we would be taking players away from the main modes. See, queue times for a hunt are already long, so I can completely understand why this would be a worry. However, I believe a lot of the time, the people that would be playing this mode would be people who wouldn't really be playing bounty hunt anyway, because they want something more casual. You know, think of it like your warm-up rounds, your decompressing rounds at the end of your night, or your learning rounds. So these already wouldn't be in the bounty hunt cycle. I do think this may hurt the player count of quick play, however, as most players of quick play seem to main that mode, it may not be that large of a drop off. As long as we don't add stats for the shootout mode, then the competitive nature of quick play will continue to attract people. Next issue will be the developmental time. For this I can completely understand, we don't want the devs wasting resources, but I'd like to mention that they wouldn't really have to design a new map for this, and really the main of the work would be figuring out how to code this. And seeing as they've already added the barely used trial mode, I think it's clear to see that the devs are okay with adding extra modes, and as of such, adding a mode that would likely see a lot of gameplay like this shouldn't really be seen as something so far off of their radar. However, at the end of the day, these are just my opinions. You can feel free to disagree, but I personally think that this would be a great addition to the game. So hit to the comment section with your opinions on what you think, and uh, I hope to see you all next time.